Evening, everyone. It's uh, 5.55 on Thursday evening, the 13th of January. And I want to remind everyone, if you're trading next week's options, that Monday is a holiday. ML King Day. Okay, this is video number 1106. And uh, we had this morning, we had the early PPI and the claims numbers. Um just to recap those briefly, I'll just use the year-over-year -year numbers. PPI, um, which is the manufacturer's price, 9.7%. That is an all-time high. X Food and Energy, for anyone who didn't drink or drive for the last year, just 8.3%. And X Food, Energy, and Trade, 6.9%. That's tied with an all-time as far as claims go, we were um, better off in claims. Uh, we were at 230,000 in, um, in initial claims. That was up 23,000, but continuing claims, a million five fifty nine. That's a post-pandemic low. Okay. So, a uh, couple of quick things. First of all, last night I told you about uh, KB Homes with a beat, um, and the uh, stock had been up $1.88 at forty-four forty-five. Then this morning I told you about it again. It was forty-six ten up three seventy-two, and I'm going to tell you about it again tonight. Forty-nine thirty-eight up seven, sixteen and a half percent. Uh, better numbers and uh, also higher selling prices, which is good because at the uh, range that they're talking about, um, the extra $30,000 that it costs to build a house now because uh, lumber is back to over $1,300 a thousand board feet makes a big difference. Not so great for the people who want to buy starter homes, which are now still over, you know, 200,000 and change. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor uh, this morning was up a bit. It was up about $6. It closed up about $7. 139.19 up 696, 5.3%. Um, of all of the groups that uh, I watch, we were down in pot, energy, work from home, biopharma, the mega caps, and the meme stocks. Um, basically mixed were infrastructure and financials, and financials did not look great. Um, on the upside, we had retail and the very defensive food supply chain sector and the defense sector. Um, the reason I mention the uh, retail sales is because tomorrow morning we have retail sales numbers coming out. We also have consumer sentiment. We also have industrial production and cap utilization, import-export prices, and we have the first couple of banks reporting. And everybody knows who listens to me, I hate the uh, earnings season. Tomorrow we have J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, which made a new high today, uh, City, and BlackRock. Um, other stocks that were up, I mentioned the memes and uh, SPCE. I mentioned that this morning, and it was 11 down 137 or 10% on uh, doing a $425 million convertible debt deal, it managed to slip all the way to 10, down 233, or just under 19%. And AMC, and you have a CEO there who says one thing to the, quote, apes, and then turns around and does another, uh, he sold an additional 300 million or so. In any event, um, AMC was 2069 down 203 or 9%. Snap was downgraded 3838 down $4 and change. And on the upside, we had TPG. I mentioned this one um, this morning. It was priced last night at 29 and a half. 
judging by the market today, you'd think it wasn't such a great day to do a deal, but they priced it mid-range at 29 and a half. It opened at 33 and then traded to 34.99 and closed at 34. And that was up five and a half or 18%. Okay. The markets were horrendous today, mostly the mega caps, and they dragged down uh, the NASDAQ and the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100. Dow down 176, closing near the low, down a half a percent, uh, and advanced declines were not too bad there. They were 18 to 15, so uh, 6 to 5 to the downside. They were 2 to 1 to the downside on the NASDAQ, which closed down a monumental 381.58, two and a half percent, the big loser of the day, um, followed in second place with the S&P down 67.32, one and a half percent. The Russell down three quarters of a percent at 16.62. And surprise, the transports were actually up 33 and a half or 0.21 percent. The VIX, while it didn't dramatically spike into the high 20s, did close at 2031 up 269 or 15 percent. Oil was down a half a dollar. Gold was down six dollars. Uh, Bitcoin, which traded up to 44 and a half thousand, closed 42,675 down 11 and a half. The dollar was down yet again, 94.77, down another 12 cents. Bonds were up a half. And the chart on the screen, I'm not going to go into this too much uh, because it gets to be a little monotonous. But uh, what you're looking at is the net gas for March. Uh, We traded the UNG yesterday. Everybody knows by now we made about 260% on the trade. Um, and that gas was up tremendously yesterday. You can see it right here. Uh, it actually closed pretty close to the high, and it was up uh, 60 cents, which is huge. Today, it gave back most of that, closed down 58.7 cents. The problem was, and this was down 7% today, as you can see, 7.4% at the close. Um, The problem was that evidently there was a short in the front month, which was February. So while uh, nat gas in March was down 32 cents or 7.4%, nat gas in February was 4.27, down 58 cents or 12%. Uh, This kind of thing kind of screws up the market a little, um, kind of breaks the back of the market, and it'll take a little while for it to work off this kind of volatility. So um, we're standing on the sidelines. Uh, The options that we had yesterday, uh, the UNG 13 calls, uh, which closed at three dollars yesterday, and I was disappointed because we sold them between two and a quarter and two thirty-five. Um, the stock actually UNG was fourteen twenty-one down a dollar seventy-six or eleven percent, and those options that closed at three yesterday closed at a dollar thirty, down one seventy. So we did all right. We got out at the right time. Um, you know, I generally always beat myself up for not getting the high, but the fact of the matter is, better to be a little early than to be too late. Have a good evening. I'll be back in the morning. And don't forget, if you're buying options, they have one less day than you think they do.